Welcome back, Love Stylers. I'm Misty. Today we're going to be talking about intermittent fasting. Intermittent, intermittent, intermittent. It's hard to say, but it's kind of easy to do. And all of the benefits that you will get from intermittent fasting in 2022. Hit subscribe if you're interested in improving your life through diet, lifestyle, better choices, and pursuing your art. So why would you listen to me? It's like, Misty, you're kind of chubby and you're not at your go at. You're right, I'm not, but I did lose 55 pounds and eight sizes with a combination of the keto and carnivore diets. In the last four years, I got rid of most of my eczema. I still have a little bit left. I also kicked alcohol and I no longer drink alcohol and I don't plan on going back to it, guys, because I think it was making me fat and many other things like curing high blood pressure and I'm no longer on meds for high blood pressure. I wanna give a subscriber shout out to Vera Pilecki. What's up, Vera? She told me in a comment that she reversed her type two diabetes. So if you have diabetes or if you don't want to get diabetes, you don't have to. She eats basically a carnivore based diet where she includes the three C's for vegetables, sliced cucumber, cabbage, and cauliflower. I also wanna thank Dark Patches because season two last year, he was my most engaging fan of Love Style on the comments. And I gotta tell you, Dark Patches, you are so fun to talk to, thank you. What is intermittent fasting? It is eating in a small, shorter window than you may be used to and not eating for long periods of time. Very popular is an eight hour eating window. That's a little easier to do than a six hour eating window or a four hour eating window. So some people don't even want to diet. And intermittent fasting is an easy way to start improving your health, start improving your lifestyle, cleaning up your diet, maybe losing a little bit of weight without even really dieting. It's just going long periods of time without eating. People get very afraid to not eat. When you talk about fasting, sometimes people get real twitchy and they're really uncomfortable with it. And I've tested this out, believe me, in the last four years. I fasted every day of my life in the last four years. I like to call intermittent fasting just skipping breakfast. I do not think breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Let's get rid of that idea because all the new stuff and the truth is coming out lately. And stay tuned for my truth bomb at the end of this video, guys. I've been trying these truth bombs and I kind of like them. Let me know what you think. So... A lot of truth is coming forth, and we know that sugar is bad for us. We know that carbs are not necessarily good for us, especially the man-made type. Refined sugar is horrible, and packaged foods contain all these different ingredients. These are the basics. So how I intermittent fast is I try to stop eating dinner at night, around seven or eight o'clock PM. So usually I'm good with this, but you know, it's not an exact science. So if you stop eating dinner around eight o'clock, let's just say, we go to sleep, we are fasting as we sleep. And a lot of us are used to waking up and grabbing something to eat because that's what we were taught. Now I'm gonna ask you to challenge this thought. I'm going to ask you to start over in 2022 and consider the fact that what we've been taught has been wrong. Just simply put, I'm very blunt on this channel with stuff like this. So when you wake up in the morning and you wanna try intermittent fasting because you wanna clean your body out of toxins and you wanna lose weight this year, I'm gonna ask you if you usually eat breakfast to skip breakfast. Now I have coffee in the morning and I even have heavy cream in my coffee. Now some of you naysayers are going to say that that is not actually fasting, Misty. 
you are consuming cream and that has calories. You might be right, but I'm going to allow it. So I have coffee in the morning when I wake up, but I do not eat any food until about 11 or 12 o'clock. So you're skipping breakfast. This is how simple it could be to clean up your body and start to lose the visceral fat. So the main benefit to intermittent fasting, first and foremost, is you will start to lose your visceral fat. Visceral fat is fat on the outside of your organs, mostly around the middle. I call it my muffin middle. I have a muffin middle and I'm trying not to show it on camera because I'm still a little bit shy about it. It's getting smaller, slowly, but permanently. So by eating a low carb diet, this helps tremendously. Now I've been on a carnivore diet, 90% carnivore, 10% keto and other foods for the last four years. I've done keto for two years and then I did more carnivore for the last current two years. But I intermittent fast every single day and I do not eat until 11 or 12 o'clock and then I try to stop eating dinner by about 8 o'clock at night. So that's an 8 hour or 9 eating window and that works for me. Some more benefits. If you implement intermittent fasting in your life, even if you're not ready to go keto or carnivore, this will still work. Of course, weight loss. Of course, fat loss specifically. Visceral fat, the stuff that hangs around on the outside of your muscles. We want to get rid of that, of course. And uh, it reduces inflammation. It lowers your blood sugar. It lowers your blood sugar. This is huge. This is the biggest problem in the country and maybe even in the world as we have high blood sugar. So when it lowers your blood sugar, you will start to burn fat because your metabolic rate increases. So it fixes your metabolism when you implement intermittent fasting in your life, period. This is proven, people. And you can look at some other videos. There are a bunch out there. I'm surprised I waited this long till season three to talk about intermittent fasting. I thought I would come in on 2022 with a bang with some of the basics here. So when you reduce inflammation in your body and you lower your blood sugar, you will burn body fat. Your metabolism will work better and your hormones will balance. And this is a problem a lot of us ladies over 40 have. I'm 49 and balancing hormones becomes quite a chore. So this is why I feel like this is a very, very important thing to consider trying. So you may be wondering like, Misty, don't you get hungry if you don't eat until like noon? And um, you have to go all of the morning when you wake up at 5 a.m. like I do. And I go to work. I have my coffee. I have the heavy whipping cream in the coffee. That does keep you satiated a bit. There's a lot of fat content in heavy whipping cream. Now, do not put a lot in your coffee. Just put a little bit. I don't give measurements on this channel. See what works for you. But less is more when it comes to heavy cream in your coffee like I like to have. So that keeps me satiated and feeling full until lunchtime, period. And if I ever feel a little twinge of hunger, which I really don't, I'm so used to this, and you get used to it, guys, if you've never tried it, um, I will just drink some water. Water is there to save you. Water is life. Water is life in 2022 and forever and from before that. But I really want to put this forth. If you feel hungry, you're probably thirsty. This is a huge thing that people um, misunderstand when they listen to their body. And it's usually thirst disguising itself as hunger because we just have a bad habit of grabbing food when we're bored, 
when we think it's time to eat, when our parents told us we should eat, and when we think breakfast is the most important meal of the day, which is a lie. So skipping breakfast will change your entire body if you keep doing it. Now during your window of eating, let's just call it 12 to eight for this video's sake. Um, you might be asking, well, Misty, how, what do I eat? How much do I eat? Can I have snacks? Well, this is all up to you. Now, I believe in a carnivore or a keto diet or at least a low carb lifestyle. Getting rid of packaged foods, eliminating refined sugar if you're just starting. Uh, some people in implement some fruit to help them with the cravings of sugar and that's natural sugar and that's a little bit better. You don't wanna eat a ton of fruit if you're trying to lose weight though. So implementing a healthy way of eating, more of a low carb based lifestyle, keeping your big cheats for those holidays occasionally instead of every day of the week. Getting rid of alcohol is a very, very big one with me. And I plan on talking more about alcohol this year in season three, so stick with me if you've even considered getting rid of the drinks in your life that are making you fat. It took me 45 years to realize that drinking wine and beer a couple times a week was keeping me fat. So that's for another video, but I do have some videos on alcohol. Check them out in the playlists. You can eat two meals. Now I've been eating two meals for about a straight year. I did a lot of fasting before that, extended fasting for days at a time. And that's not even what we're talking about today necessarily. We're talking about going long periods of time during your sleep, waking up in the morning and waiting a few hours before you eat, and then not eating late at night. It's pretty simple. That's the basic principles of this. When you start seeing how you become less hungry by doing this, it's going to amaze you. So it reduces hunger. And eating in that small window you've set up for yourself will become natural after the first probably couple weeks. And you're going to love this. And so sometimes people will say, well, Misty, don't you get that loose skin? If you lose weight too quickly, um, all of a sudden you get the, the flabby skin. I got to tell you, when you do this right and you stay away from the junk foods, the loose skin tightens up very, very quickly. I don't have a lot of loose skin. And you'd think I would after four years and 55 pounds, but... I really don't have a lot of loose skin. Now I'm gonna recommend exercising, at least walking if you're just getting started or going to the gym and doing some light strength training or push-ups or whatever you do to keep yourself moving a little bit. You don't have to go extreme, especially if you're just starting a diet, you're just starting to realize you wanna lose some weight this year, you're just starting to realize being on medication is not for you. If you're just starting to realize you don't wanna be a diabetic, or you want to keep up with your younger friends or your kids. And this is the stuff I'm going to be talking about this year. Please look at your health first in your life. First in your life. There is nothing more valuable than good health. Nothing. No money. Not even family. Your health is first. Very much first and should be first in your life. My very, very favorite thing that I love about intermittent fasting. Besides all of the wonderful things we talked about today, I like the feeling of an empty belly. What? What? Like, what do you mean, Miss Day? <laughs> when your body is not trying to burn off calories, it can work off burning your visceral, chubby fat that you hate. And Having an emptier stomach makes me feel like I have a flatter stomach and it doesn't blow it out, you know? So implementing intermittent fasting in your life will make you feel leaner just walking around. And you'll start to get used to that idea of feeling thinner, seeing yourself thinner, and actually achieving it. My very, very, very favorite thing about intermittent fasting, before I go, guys, is the mental clarity that you get. 
This is what I call getting downloads from the universe. My focus is insane when I'm not eating food. I don't know if the cells are regenerating and coming into my brain. I forget what the science is right now, but my focus becomes very, very clear. My memory gets better. I start to want to implement all the things I want to do with my art, a lot of writing, songwriting, book writing, and video writing. And I come up with so many better ideas and more creativity with other things in my life when I am focused mentally. So for better mental focus, intermittent fasting could be your secret like it is mine. And my truth bomb is, if you've never dieted in your life, if you've never looked at your health before ever, and this is the first time you're even considering it because it's 2022 and you want to live a long time with all of the germs and diseases around us, keeping yourself healthy is the key and the only key. I will tell you that intermittent fasting could be your secret weapon because even if you don't diet, even if you don't eat that great, even if you're not ready for carnivore or keto, I will tell you intermittent fasting is the first step to clearing the toxins out of your body, getting rid of some of the junk that you've gotten over the years from eating crappy or drinking or eating packaged foods. So please consider intermittent fasting today. Eating in a shorter window than you ever did before can be the secret to your success of becoming healthy in 2022. Thank you for listening to Black Eyed Soul. That's our music we record right here in this room. And we'll see you next time on Love Style. Peace out.